I was just wondering how you measure your results. Oh, that's such a good question. One, mm. of, one of my favorites. Um, you know, the, at the core of this program has really been about making sure that we are helping students persist and complete um, their degree or credential. And um, early on, we knew that it was going to be really important to measure these results because you know, what we're trying to do is demonstrate that this benefits hub model is uh, a, a successful one and one that eventually we hope we can see both public funding and policy change to help spread and expand. Um, we're really proud of uh, our results to date. Um, so so um, over the last year, um, we helped over 6,939 students uh, they accessed over 18,200 interventions. Uh, so the scale um, is quite large and we believe it can grow even bigger and uh, partnerships uh, with the colleges is gonna be so critical in doing that. We've partnered with uh, the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges to be able to understand whether students uh, that are participating in this program are persisting in completing. Um, and a couple of things that we've learned um, over the course of the year. First is that most of our students are, inter are uh, receiving multiple interventions. Um, on average, they receive three interventions. So that might be that they start off with food access and then they get an emergency financial grant and then they get their taxes prepared. Um, so there's this ongoing relationship between the student and our financial counselors. Um, what we found is that um, over 42% of our students identify as first generation college students, 28% identify as uh, student parents, um, and over 59% uh, um, are multilingual. What we think is most promising though, is that um, last year we found that um, our students are persisting at a 9% higher rate than other students. And for students of color that are enrolled in a benefits hub program, uh, they're graduating at a 12% rate. Um, and what we are 12% higher than, than uh, their peer students. Um, what we know is that those results were before we added additional emergency grants to the overall portfolio. So we think there's huge promise in, in what we're seeing. We're also part of three different evaluations. So we're partnering with folks from around the country test out this model and share it with other programs um, that are uh, working in simil in, uh, on similar activities. Um, and one of, one of our most exciting um, partnerships is with um, the HOPE Center at Temple University. Um, some of you may be familiar with Dr. Sarah Goldrick Rabb. Um, she has been a champion for our work since the beginning and um, we've collectively secured funding um, for a multi-year evaluation of the program. Um, and we just uh, looked at the first year results and they are really promising and they give us some good direction of areas that we need to improve um, both with our programmatic work and our policy work in order to move this work forward. So a lot of evaluation, the early results show that it's promising and we're excited to keep doing more.